Oh, hi everyone. Good day. Australians, oh, let us rejoice. Good day, mates. Welcome to Cooking with Tuck James. Today we're making an Australian burger, or at least that's what it says on the interweb. I don't actually know if it's Australian, but we're making it. All right, so what you're gonna need are some simple ingredients. First, some kangaroo. <laughs> actually kidding, this is just ground beef. We're gonna get kangaroo, sorry about that. <laughs> Next you're gonna need <laughs> some chili paste. Next you're gonna need some Kaiser rolls. Some Kaiser rolls, yes, to put the burgers on. You're also gonna need some pickled baits and some pineapple rings. Oh, I almost forgot. Ketchup and mayonnaise as well. First things first, you're gonna get one fourth a cup of ketchup. Alright, get one fourth, one fourth a cup of ketchup, put it in a small bowl. Then get yourself one fourth a cup of mayonnaise. All right, next, you're gonna get your chili paste, get that pesky wrap off. And you're gonna get one teaspoon of that and add it to the rest of that jaunt. How spicy, is this supposed to be like spicy or something? Oh. After you got that mixed to perfection, we're all set. So you're gonna get your ground beef next, and you're gonna slice her open. And you're gonna get a mixing bowl. Oh, that's nice. All right, after you put your beef in a bowl, you're gonna wanna put one teaspoon of salt. But I don't think the way I'm doing it's quite appropriate. Y'all seen that meme? Now Tuck James did it. What now? Oh god, it's everywhere. <laughs> that, that's not good. <laughs> Alright, next, get your cameraman to sweep up the mess you just made. Thank you, Daniel. I hate you, Senor. After you add the salt, you're gonna add one half a teaspoon of pepper. <laughs> next, you're gonna do about a half a tablespoon, half a teaspoon of black pepper. But I'm not measuring it because I'm, no, I'm not a herb, I'm not a square, I ain't no loser. Next, you're gonna form four, four and a half inch patties. Next, you're gonna lightly spray the grill with vegetable oil or any oil of your choice. Then you're gonna lightly toast the buns, put the patties on there, and also you're gonna grill the pineapple. Go ahead and put your pineapple on there. You're gonna wanna get the pineapple out before the burgers, of course, because they're gonna cook more. Making all sea burgers, yeah. Making all sea burgers for your mom. For your mom. You know how they say that? Mom. Mom. Oh. Watch this one. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I was going to throw it over my head, but that would have been pretty bad. Well, I don't even know what that means. Looks like it's done, though. Got to get these off the grill. All right, after you get your buns grilled, your pineapples 
grilled and your meat grilled, you're gonna fry yourself an egg to top off that Aussie burger. All right, now while this egg is being fried, I'm gonna give you a little history lesson on the Australian burger and all its excellence. Long, long ago, the Aborigines searched and searched for the magical burger. Wars were waged, emus were shot. I think those are emus, others even, others even? One man, this man standing like this, this guy right here, this man, he's standing like that, he found it, and he became king. And he um, did all the good things. He made everything better. The end. All right, so you're gonna get your chili paste and put it on the bottom bun. After those eggs are fried, this is the next step. That's all you gotta do is assemble. After you got the chili paste on there, you're gonna go with the pickled baits. Or whatever they, whatever they are, I don't even know what they are. These purple people eat this. And then you're gonna put burger, pineapple, egg, and there you go, folks. That is the Aussie burger. Cameraman Daniel. Is it good, Cameraman Daniel? Yeah, it's pretty good. Alright, let's try this bad boy. <laughs> 